The National Centre for Research and Remembrance is a national memorial which will honour everyone who spent time in industrial schools, Magdalen laundries, mother and baby and county home institutions, reformatories and related institutions. Their story is a vital part of the history of Ireland. That is why the National Centre will be operated by the National Museum of Ireland and the National Archives of Ireland, the national institutions who preserve and tell our story for future generations. It's really important that the views of people who spend time in these institutions are central to the development of the National Centre. In July of last year, we ran a public consultation to gather these views and we're so grateful to everyone who took the time to respond. The steering group has taken some time to look at the consultation responses in detail. We will take all of the feedback on board as we continue our work. As Special Advocate for Survivors, I'm really pleased to have joined the steering group for the National Centre to make sure survivors' views are fully represented. I'm looking forward to supporting and facilitating ongoing consultation and engagement with survivors from all institutions throughout the project to ensure their voices are heard. The steering group has also committed to a central role for survivors in the ongoing governance of the centre once it opens. I'll be working with survivors on how exactly this will work as the project progresses. Here at the National Archives, we know that the treatment of records is a complex and extremely sensitive issue, and this view was reflected in many of the responses that we received. When the National Centre opens, the records contained there will form part of the National Archives. The privacy rights of survivors and their families in relation to their individual and personal records will be absolutely paramount. Accessing records can be an emotional experience, and so we will ensure there is a sensitive and a caring environment for anyone looking to access the records at the centre. All our staff and the staff of the National Museum working at the centre will be trained to understand trauma. The centre will also offer dedicated times where it is only open to survivors. I'm here today at the National Museum of Ireland in Collins Barracks to talk about the National Museum's involvement in the National Centre for Research and Remembrance. In the development of the design and content of the National Centre, we're committed to working with survivors as equal partners in a co-design process. We're honoured to have an opportunity to work with survivors in this way and to play a central role in this important project. Through our work, we will ensure that survivors' voices are very much at the heart of the centre. It's really important to say that the National Centre will honour all survivors equally. And to do this, we'll work with survivors of the different institutions to make sure that the centre can reflect their various experiences in a manner that gives space and a voice to all of them. Many people who responded to the consultation also mentioned the importance of outreach, regional and international connections for the National Centre. We will engage with the likes of local museums and libraries and explore travelling exhibitions as well as online content to make sure people can access the National Centre from different locations, both nationally and globally. We also know that people would like an opportunity to hear about and feedback on initial plans for the exhibitions face to face. So later this summer, we plan to run open events where survivors will be able to do just this and more of these events will take place as the project progresses. People who responded to the consultation outlined many potential challenges, including the deep sensitivity of the subject matter and the absolute importance of engaging and building trust with survivors. We've taken all of this on board and will keep it front of mind as we continue our work. Ongoing engagement and further consultations will take place as this historic national project progresses. The consultations will be in various formats to make sure everyone can have their views heard. We look forward to working together on this.